Hello, hello, hello. It is your girl Just Jazz back with another video. Auto, what is embarrassing me being like three months? I know, I know. <laughs> if you're new here, it's your girl Just Jazz. I go by Titi, that's my first name, but you can call me Just Jazz if you're part of the Just Jazz train. I don't know, I'm being so weird. <laughs> this literally shows you how long it's been since I actually did a video, but y'all, it has been a minute. It's been a so minute. I really appreciate the love to any of you that are joining the channel like welcome to the just jazz wagon where it's literally about anything and everything like i i do from like love videos hello um to just like sit down chats or sometimes i have guest appearances and right now i'm moving into a segment of adulting because yeah <laughs> So this video is a quick life update into where your girl has been, what the plan is for the channel moving forward. And yeah, we're gonna just basically sit down and do a little chit chat to kind of explain my disappearance. <laughs> so let's get right into it. Ayy. So if you see me looking down, uh, it's because I took notes. <laughs> So that i don't like forget anything but first like big quick life update your girl graduated okay we are at a degree done we are two whole degrees hotter hey two whole degrees hotter you know why we're two degrees hotter because we double majored <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that as if it's like, but yeah, no, your girl graduated in May with a double major in business, marketing, and psychology. So <laughs> your girl is a whole graduate. So I actually do have a graduation vlog that I've been meaning to like post for the longest, like literally since graduation. Um, but then after I graduated, I went home. Like your girl made it back to the kingdom of Eswatini and to Zimbabwe and South Africa. Like I, yeah, I went home. I'm the last time i'd been to zim was like three and a half years ago because it was december 2018 like that christmas the christmas after my freshman year was the last time that i'd been home so i was craving to just see my people like to see like my grandmother to see like my cousins and uncles and aunties everybody i was yeah i needed to go home um so that that's basically why i didn't even end up editing so what happened graduation was really good like y'all graduation was so wholesome my parents were not able to make it due to like visa yeah nonsense visa situations but my brothers made it because they are both in the states so the graduation vlog is coming okay <laughs> the graduation vlog is there because i actually like managed to video everything um so yeah so that happened but like just to put this in so a graduation gift that i got to myself i've literally been saving up for like more than like three to six months i was saving up to finally get myself a camera um a camera that could do both like videography and like photos because i wanted to finally like upgrade from you know getting serious with the like the channel and everything um so your girl saved up and i got myself like a content vlogging kit like camera it was a canon m50 mark ii i'd literally put it on my goal list like back in december as like you know a wish list for the year of things that i wanted to do and one of those things was to get myself that camera so i was like you know what if we can get it by graduation i can vlog the entire graduation and i had already manifested to say i'm going home even though it wasn't a solid plan from the beginning of the year it said i'm gonna get a camera and i'm gonna go home i don't know how it's gonna work but i'm gonna do it so like we got the camera literally like three days before graduation and then like we managed to make it work i i vlogged my whole like photo shoot at graduation like my photo shoot before graduation i vlogged like graduation weekend and everything and my like vlogging personality was set to say the least so then i went home which was amazing so i literally vlogged my whole journey home like flying home like to eswatini um and everything and then <sighs> my baby got stolen um i didn't know where which part of the vlog to put this but then the rest of the video is gonna make sense by mentioning that so my camera and as new as it was it got stolen when i got home in zimbabwe and guys i've never been <laughs> When I tell you the the head, eh, the pain, <laughs> y'all, I was, I was so hurt. And the amount of content that I'd already like, y'all guys, I've never, I was so hurt. I was so hurt. So 
I went to Zim and it was like my third day back home and I'd gone out with my cousins um, and we went to like, this was now in Mutare. So we'll, we'll backtrack the whole story time. But I was now back in, in I was in Mutare now after I'd already spent like two weeks back in Eswatini. So I spent two weeks in Eswatini because I was trying to renew my US visa to be able to come back. So I already had like a bunch of videos from the time when I was in Eswatini. Like I had my, a whole vlog about my first week in Eswatini. Like I saw one of my, my best friend's sister and she's like seven and somehow she had become a tiktok star <laughs> so she was teaching me like tiktok videos and you know your girl can't dance for shit like so i was just there like what is going on but she taught me tiktok dance videos we were cooking breakfast together i even went to do my hair like it was like me going back to do my, my locks after like the last 10 months that i'd left home um i had a whole talk with like one of my home girls that i hadn't seen since we graduated from like high school and like mobile me and i sat down um, uh, and we did like a whole sit down chit chat about like how uni in the US was because she also ended up at university in the US. So we're talking about how different life was from like, you know, from who we were and who we knew each other to be back when we were basically lighties in high school to now who we were like throughout our four years of college and how we've grown and everything. So that was another video that I had. Me and my man's finally like reunited after 10 months of long distance. So I had all those videos of like us reconnecting, going on like little dates and like talking about how like the last 10 months apart have been. So those were like videos that I had. <laughs> okay, that was like just the first week. And then the second week in Eswatini, like i had videos of me going to like this thing called the guba market um and i think those are the, some of the only videos i actually recovered because i went with one of my friends called chris and he had asked me for the videos because he wanted to use them for something so i actually exported those videos and saved them but when the camera got stolen like all those other videos had not been saved my plan was just to like get content and then edit it all when i get back here because yeah i knew i was not gonna have time to actually do the whole editing process when i was like back home so that was all the content like in eswatini that got lost you know with the camera being stolen and then before i arrived in zim like i spent a weekend in johannesburg with my best friend um and i hadn't seen her again since like 2019 so there were videos of us like seeing each other we hung out like she showed me parts of joe that i hadn't seen before because we're now in our 20s we can actually go out and things like that so i had like videos from us hanging out in joe break there was such a beautiful sister that like i vividly remember taking a video off and again gone um and then when i got to zim i arrived in harare which is the capital city in, in zimbabwe right and then i got there and then there was like video footage of like me and my mom seeing each other again after 10 months um like me seeing like my cousins who i hadn't seen in three and a half years i have one of my cousins his name is tawana and he's like a dancer now right awesome dancer and there was footage of him teaching me how to dance <laughs> and you know you again your girl cannot dance but then i really just enjoyed being like so free and like having to like learn these dance moves that I couldn't pull off and my cousin just being so free with me and like we learned how to dance um so that was content that was there as well I went out for lunch with one of my girls Visai, who I haven't I hadn't seen her since probably yo I want to say 2017 like I don't even know but we went out for lunch um and again that's content so and then from Harare, those like, I literally spent like maybe less than 48 hours in Harare. Then I got to Mutare. And Mutare again, I'm seeing like, that's where 90% of the extended family is. So I was now seeing everybody that I hadn't seen in three and a half years. And again, like I had all of this on video. Like, I don't think y'all understand how much I was documenting. Cause I was like, I don't know when next I'm gonna be home and I really want these memories. And I also know that this is content for me. So I was literally just, any moment I got, I had my camera out or even like the whole family was even on board to video stuff on my behalf. They'll be like, oh, Sissy, don't you wanna video this? Like, so, guys. <sighs> <'Kay>, <laughs> Yo, when my camera got stolen, it's like all the content literally went in my head in like 10 seconds and just to have it all gone. Yo guys my heart literally sank the first person i called was my mom and i was this close to tears not even like i was literally about to be like in like a breakdown tears in the middle of that parking lot and then my cousin just looked at me and she was like no titsy don't cry and yo guys <laughs> Me, I've never been a crier, okay? That's one thing about me. I've never been a crier until last year, until I, I came back to the US after being gone for a year and a half, and I suddenly became, became a crier. Like, honestly, like, 
<laughs> one day we'll talk about senior year but senior year was a movie okay and i finally accepted the vulnerability that came from crying and now to have this thing that is so valuable to me literally be taken when it's less than a month old away from me and have the first words be to see don't cry like yo that messed me up so much because now i just felt like i'd taken so many steps back from like the growth that i've been trying to do from like accepting that crying is okay <laughs> but even besides that like initially yo when i told you i had saved up for this camera for the longest okay i was like even doing this video i've been meaning to like sit down and talk about the loss that i went through by like losing my camera and i haven't even been able to like talk about it because it's just been something that's been like <laughs> I don't know how to explain the hurt, guys. <laughs> I know I may be smiling right now, but deep down, like, yo, I was so, I was mad. I was hurt. I was, like, questioning the universe, God, whoever. I was, like, did I rush this decision to get this camera, right? Did I, like, make it too quick? And, yo, mm -mm. Yeah, so there's a quote that um, one of my friends posted yesterday, and it says, <laughs> so the quote is, the older I get, the more I realize that everything doesn't happen for a reason. Some things will happen senselessly and be completely devastating. I do not have to make something good out of something terrible. Toxic positivity isn't helpful to my growth or healing. And I kid you not, when I read that, I literally felt a weight being lifted off my shoulders because I feel like with my camera being stolen, what I've been trying to do is just make sense out of it, to understand, like, to question myself even to, to the point where I'm like, was it a decision that I made too soon? Or was it something that I could have waited on? Like, is there, like, was the message to say that since you haven't been home for three and a half years, you shouldn't be trying to video everything. You should just be living in the moment and things like that. So like reading this quote, it really gave me an assurance to just feel sad about it and to feel like devastated about this thing because like, like I said, I, I had so many plans, guys. I had so many plans. <laughs> but anyways, so that update um, in terms of my camera being stolen is also the reason why I stopped vlogging and stopped posting content for a while besides me going home. I feel like the excitement and the thrill that I'd gotten from like making the purchase to going home and then having it taken away, it, it, it took me so many steps back because I now felt like why am i even trying to push this thing right now like maybe it's not the right time maybe right now i'm supposed to be trying to adult properly maybe i'm supposed to be trying to adjust into this life after graduation properly instead of like trying to create content you know so yeah and every time i even thought about sitting down to do a video like i would just get so sad because i would then just remember all the content that i lost um and my camera being stolen so yeah so that's kind of also partly why i've been away <laughs> because to be honest i've been grieving i know it can sound ridiculous like to see what it's it's materialistic it's just a camera like you because people said that to me after they found out they were like it's just a camera you'll get another one and i was like y'all don't get it okay like <laughs> y'all really don't get it but it's fine so it was more than just a camera i would have been fine if they just took out my memory card and gave me and then just took the camera to be honest i would have been so happy i would have been fine i mean i would have been sad but like what hurt me the most is the content that i lost and the intent that was behind all the content like it was so intentional to the point that it being taken away i feel like I, I, I had so many whys in my head that I was just like, yeah, maybe it's not time. So I didn't mean to go off on a whole ramble <laughs> about my camera being stolen as part of this like quick life update, but my camera being stolen was a big part of why I've not been around. Um, but yeah, so other than that, home was really good. Like home was really, I really needed to be home. And after the camera got stolen, like I had a lot of my cousins like work with me to try figure out like if we can recover it or, you know, if you can find the person that did it. So it actually ended up bonding me and getting me closer to like some of my cousins that I hadn't thought I was going to spend the most time with. Um, but yeah, but home was really, really good. Like I didn't even bother myself with taking videos anymore. I was fully immersed in just being present uh, with my cousins and it was really nice. Like the, the one day that I vlogged was my graduation party, which was really nice. Like we managed to, like my parents came, like we were all in Zoom together. So we managed to like, they coordinated with my aunties and uncles to throw me like a graduation party when I was home and everybody was there. And literally like my memories of Zim 
um, because even when we were in Zim, my family and I lived in Harare, where 90% of the like extended families in Mutare. So we'd usually go to Mutare for Christmas, and my memories of Zim is basically all of us and like all the cousins like sleeping in one room together. We wake up, we're like playing games, we're like watching movies, um, you know, we're talking, we're having a braai and things like that. So. The graduation party really gave me that nostalgic feeling of like how it always was when we were kids whenever we would visit Mutare because with the graduation party like most of my cousins came like there was a bride like yo guys bright pork is underrated like that when pork is bright eh, it, it hits the soul <laughs> It was so good, man. There was music, like people did speeches. So I actually managed to vlog that day because I was like, you know what, this is actually an important day that I actually want to like create memories for myself for. So I do have that those videos and like that's that's a vlog that is coming on top of like the graduation weekend in the US. My graduation party back home in Zim is also like another video that's coming. So that was also really nice. Like just and that was the last weekend before I left because then I flew out on a Tuesday. So that was the last weekend activity before i flew back to the u.s and that was really nice like my heart was happy it, i actually left home in peace like usually when i've left i've been feeling so sad to be like i don't like you know i really don't want to go right now i want to stay but this time around when i left i was i was in so much peace y'all besides the camera stolen sadness i was genuinely at peace because i feel like i'd seen like most of the people that i wanted to see um and i'd spent like genuine time with like family so it was just really really nice so yeah so that was life update of me being home <laughs> um so then when i came back to the u.s um your girl moved into her two-bedroom apartment which i currently am right now um and then yeah i was like so that is another like vlog that's coming is me setting up my apartment um and thankfully for me like god is good honestly like a lot of the things in my apartment i didn't even have to buy like the big things like the couch i got for free my bed like it's literally a king bed and a queen bed i got both of them for free i got my tv for free and things like that so it's just really yeah so setting up the apartment was mostly setting up the kitchen stuff like microwave like um toaster getting like a spice organizer tea organizer and things like that but everything else like all the big stuff was basically accounted for which is really really nice so, so when i got back um i spent like the first five days like setting up the apartment and making sure that it was ready and then your girl started her first like full-time job out of graduation <laughs> um so yeah so what have I said so far? Graduated, going home, camera being stolen, started a new job, um, setting up the apartment. And then, yeah, your girl also has a car, you know, we got a whip, we got a little whip. I got a Ford Fusion 2013 that I bought from my friend because she was moving to New York. And New York doesn't, you, you don't need a car. Like the transportation is great. So you don't need to do anything. Um, so I got a car. So your girl has been going through a lot of adulting. I finally did. Um, so I've been driving for the first three months. I was driving using my license from home from Eswatini but then about a month ago i finally took like the indiana stage driving test and your girl passed <laughs> so right now i'm still waiting for my license card to actually arrive but like i passed the written test and i passed the driving test so i mean i've been driving since 2018 so we now are officially an indiana states driver licensed driver okay <laughs> so yeah so in terms of like got a car but other than that yeah i've been adulting it has been a lot of adulting um so it's got it's got its ups and downs <laughs> it's got its ups and downs but this is just kind of a quick life update um that i wanted to do to just let y'all know where i've been if that interests you <laughs> but this is also to say that content is loading okay content is loading it's finally like i'm shooting this on the 21st of september who knows when this is gonna be up but i'm shooting this on the 21st of september and on this day i feel like life is finally at a point where it's stabilizing because after graduation i feel like it's just been it's just been going like this it's just been going like this um so now i'm finally at a point where i settled into the job since i started in july i've settled into like you know the adulting situation i've settled into being back in the u.s doing a full-time job instead of being like a student so now i feel like i'm at a point where i'm ready to actually do youtube as like you know a thing that i'll be doing on the side so yeah <laughs> i don't know if i forgot anything but also we have our mans is finally here um that's another video that 
we're gonna do together at some point to talk about how he managed to even join me in the u.s because yo <laughs> that was a whole movie on its own but at least we're no longer doing long distance he's also in the u.s so that is nice and he's only like 45 minutes away from me so honestly like life is life has been lifing but life is good life has been lifing but life is good might just make that the title of the video um but yeah so otherwise that's just a quick update um holla at your girl in the comments I, I if you made it this far thank you for listening to my chaotic last three months of living <laughs> I appreciate y'all and to everyone that literally has been like watching my videos since day one like the channel is actually growing and as much as I have not been posting like my most watched video my gentle magic video is now at an astronomical 18,000 views and I'm like what it's like what literally when I did that video god knew like i literally had no idea that was gonna blow up at all but it's now at eighteen thousand views and then it's just weird because my then second most watched video is my two-year visual love journey which is at like a thousand eight hundred views and then the video that i did in the menstrual cup is not about 800 views and then my very first video is not like 500 views so we've been growing and i know the numbers are like such a range like 500 to eighteen thousand. um but we're growing initially when the year started at a goal of reaching a thousand subscribers <laughs> and now when i think about it we're in september and your girl is yeah i don't know what's gonna happen if we don't make it to a thousand it's all right i feel like right now i kind of just want to get back into the rhythm of like shooting videos editing um and creating content and getting back into the youtube journey as a whole so yeah i just want to say thank you all thank you all for all the support thank you for being here with your girl um let's do this adulting thing together i feel like that's what we're gonna be <laughs> that's what we're gonna be doing let's hop onto this just shaz adulting journey together and let's see what comes out of it but yeah there are gonna be a, a, some videos that have been backed up that are coming so that is like my graduation vlog um that is my graduation weekend back home um party back home that will be me setting up my apartment i even have videos of me cleaning up the apartment uh and then i recently just traveled to new mexico for work just last weekend so that's also another video that's coming so you see that's five cool videos okay um that, that are backed up that i just need to edit and do but then yeah more content is coming be patient with me please <laughs> And yeah, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for all the support. Make sure that you like, you subscribe, you comment. Uh, and just show your girl some love in the comment section. Okay? Peace and love. And I will catch y'all in the next video. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs>